The London and Western districts were made up of mainly American settlers. 80% were American settlers, former Americans. I don't think most of them cared if there was a king or a president. Most of them were happy to get free land in what is essentially a paradise. I think most people who'd settled here probably found themselves prospering and just wished to be left alone. What they didn't bargain on was that they would be caught in the middle of a war. On July 5th, 1812, Brother Denke in Fairfield records that he hears the first signs of war. Early in the morning, we clearly heard the thunder of cannons from Detroit. This proved to us that the war had started. Before the sermon, we prayed to our Lord, beseeching him not to let anything disrupt this congregation. What the Moravians hear is an unauthorized cannonade of sandwich by the Michigan militia in retaliation for the British capture of the Cuyahoga packet a few days earlier. The Brigadier General of the Army of the Northwest, William Hull, had filled the schooner with medical supplies to ease the burden on his army on its 35-day march through the Black Swamp to Detroit. By accident, Hull's official plans were also loaded onto the packet. War is declared June 18th, but the news doesn't reach Hull until after the Cuyahoga packet has set sail. Her route takes her past the British fort at Hammersburg, where word of the declaration of war was received the day before. The packet's crew, along with Hull's military plans, are easily captured by the British. To add insult to injury, the British commander instructs the American bandsmen aboard the packet to play God Save the King on their way into the British port. 